Now remember when we're, we're measuring progress, I wanna make a note that the way and how frequently we measure is very important. So like for the scale, if you're someone who steps on the scale every single day, that's a really quick way to get discouraged because even if you're losing fat and you step on the scale every single day, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go down, it's gonna stay the same, it's gonna be all over the place, it's gonna be a roller coaster. So weighing yourself every single day, I think is a practice that, that if you are currently doing that, you need to kind of erase that and not do that because it's, it can be very detrimental to your psychology every single day. Uh, especially if you have an emotional kind of relationship with the scale where it, it gives you good news one day and gives you bad news the other day. That's not a good way to live your life and I wouldn't recommend that as a healthy way to live your life either. So when you're measuring yourself on the scale, I recommend no more than once a week and it has to be under the same conditions for the most part. You know, you want to wake up, you want to use the bathroom, you want to weigh yourself. You don't want to have eaten anything in the last, you know, six to eight hours since you slept. Um, you want to use the bathroom so you eliminate any possibility of that weight actually being, you know, just urine or, you know, feces or anything like that. So that's the way I do it. When I do things like measuring tapes, I usually do it every two weeks. Um, again, just because the frequency doesn't need to be that often. If you're sticking to your goals with nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress management, all these different things, and you're actually hitting those mini goals throughout the days and weeks, then you don't have to worry so much about the measurement. The measurement's kind of going to change. Your behaviors come first, they affect change, and then you want to measure that change. Um, and then when it comes to progress photos, I really only like every month, really. You know, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, you're not going to see a whole lot of change in the photos, but month to month, you'll see a big change. And you can do that bi-weekly if you really wanted to, but, um, you know, don't measure yourself so often that it becomes like this emotional relationship with measuring, right? The behaviors that you create and that you repeat are going to produce the results regardless of whether you're measuring or not. Measuring is just a way to make sure that we're staying on track. So, you know, those are the more subjective.